Which planet is closest to the sun? Oh! Whoops! 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 Yes, all right, all right. It's Mercury. Mercury is just 40 million miles from the sun, whereas the Earth is a little over 93 million miles from it. So therefore, the distance between the Earth's orbit and Mercury's orbit is how much? 93 minus 40 is... Two! Oh, 53! No, I was very close. Although Mercury is very small, it's a very bright planet. But that's normal. The closer it is to the sun, the brighter it is. Can I remind you that stars shine because they send us their own light, but planets and asteroids only reflect the light of the sun. Can we see Mercury? It's not easy to see it. Because seen from Earth, it always remains very close to the Sun, and so normally disappears at night. But Mercury is a very original planet for many reasons. For starters, its orbit is not a circle but an ellipse, a kind of oval if you like. Ah, OK! So when it moves away from the Sun, it gets colder. And when it gets nearer, it becomes hotter. And then... There's something really surprising. You'll have to concentrate to understand this, huh? Each planet's year is the amount of time needed to orbit completely around the sun. The planets also turn on their own axes and the time needed to do this is... A day! Not exactly. A day is the amount of time that passes between two sunrises. Right, but on Earth, they're exactly the same. Earthlings understand that a day is the amount of time it takes for the Earth to spin round on itself. Right, because the Earth year is 365 days, whilst the Earth turns on itself in only 24 hours. But Mercury travels very quickly around the Sun. Its year lasts only three months. But on the other hand, it spins very slowly on its own axis, taking two months. So therefore, in the time it takes to spin on its axis, it's also done most of its journey around the Sun. OK. So the result is it takes a lot longer for any place on Mercury to see the Sun rise. That's right, every six months. The equivalent of two Mercurian years. So on Mercury, each day lasts two years. So Mercurians celebrate their birthdays twice a day. Well, they would, but there aren't any Mercurians. The planet isn't very hospitable. Its temperature can go up to 430 degrees and down to minus 170. Wow! Mercury. Look at that. There are craters all over the place. It's a bit like the moon. Yes, those are impacts from meteorites. Just like the moon, Mercury does not have any atmosphere to burn up the rocks that bombard it. And tell me, has it got a moon? No, it hasn't. Given the sun is so close, the solar attraction would have probably stopped it from having one. Oh, the poor little planet, all on its lonesome. That's right. The first planet to have its own satellite is the third planet from the sun, which is... Huh? The Earth! Oh, no! Goodbye now. See you very soon. Which is the planet closest to the sun? Mercury. A small planet with not too many attractions. With no atmosphere, it's constantly bombarded by meteorites. Night and day last six months each, and it's either baking hot or bitterly cold. In short, we won't be going there, whoops.